just leaving Lyon right now. As you can see, it is six and a half hours to Lake Garden. It's a story. Oh, hey. <laughs> It's been raining quite a bit, um, so we are having to repack. As you, as you can see out here, it's just turning into rivers, um, and the tarp was just flapping in the wind. So, uh, yeah, just rearranging a couple of wetsuits. the wheel now after Rich and Nikki valiantly got us through um, the treacherous alpine roads. Uh, we're just passing Milan, hence the outrageous traffic right now. We have an hour and a bit to go and then um, on our way to Lake Garda that we have an Airbnb. Should be pretty sweet. We're not as nervous as us with Max behind the wheel. Don't oh, even man. worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jesus, Max. You wanted to get the shot? <laughs> You don't want to fall now. The world would see. Freeze. Oh! 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 Switzerland just oh, knows how to turn up. Oh wow. This is possibly the best gas station candy stuff. So you've a chubba chub bouquet, you chubba chubs candy sushi, and then finish it off with a pizza of sweets. This is the absolute dream. We have just arrived in Liechtenstein, uh, translated into uh, English into Liechtenstein, um, a very small country right nestled in the heart of Europe between Switzerland and Österreich, Austria. Um, it is very, and I don't know what this means exactly, but it's very Liechtenstein right now. Um, they do have motorbikes here. Um, people do have two arms and two legs, uh, so we've seen so far. Uh, but they do have a lot of castles and it's very kind of um, medieval, kind of fairy tale esque right now. A beautiful foliage, uh, a low lying fog, and uh, it looks like a cool place. We're going to explore for the rest of the day, so uh, yeah, pretty pretty excited about it. Good luck. <laughs> Well, you know, it's a real country when there's a monopoly board on it. <laughs> so with Liechtenstein, there are no borders um, and obviously there is no customs or immigration. So the only way to get a stamp on your passport is in a souvenir shop with this fella over here. Graham, welcome to Liechtenstein. This is so cool, so modern in the in the only pedestrian downtown street. All these buildings are just made up out of right angles. But as Gregor said, it's like an Austrian town, but it's a country. <laughs> of the modern and the old. Check out that castle up there. A long enough drive but we've finally gotten to Salzburg and Rebel Hangar 7. You can see behind me this place is no joke. This is where Dietrich, the owner of Red Bull, keeps 
all his toys. Um, and so from Formula One cars to F-16 jets to helicopters to this, um, this, this massive plane that can transport about 50 people. It's, uh, it's incredible and it's right on Salzburg Airport runway and just over here there's another one and there's some of his private toys. Oh, oh my god! I can't feel my legs! I can't feel my legs and I'm with you! Come on, Maxime! I'm with you! Oh no, no! Oh, Jesus! Jesus! Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. I feel very sad. <laughs> Not gonna lie, that was pretty cold. <laughs> Ooh, she's a beauty. Definitely one of the sickest spots in Austria. This uh, this little slide and pier and just view is just something else. So we're in Obertown um, on the lake, just opposite Hallstatt. Um, and yeah, that, that jump in the water was pretty crisp. But we do have the full crew. Um, the team is complete and we're going to jump back on the road and head towards uh, Budapest. So it's a straight shot from here. It's going to take us about five hours. So this is my friend James. He's not quite Austrian, even though he looks full-blown Austrian. Uh, I'm actually an Polish, so... He's, 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 an, <laughs> he's an A Polish, so that does explain a lot. So you're just walking around a beautiful Hallstatt and then you're absolutely surrounded by a coach full of Chinese tourists complimenting the view. <laughs> the Toyota Hilux that we've been cruising pre-millennium as well. This bad boy has put in some serious miles. But uh, as you can see, we've had the best weather of the trip. We are still in Austria, passing over the Hungarian border, and the sun is setting over this massive hydro wind power farm. It's actually incredible. But uh, it's kind of touching now that the sunset is coming down in the last evening because it's been an incredible road trip. <laughs> Um, it started out pretty rough. I lost my camera and then it got stolen at the very start of this trip on the way to Luton Airport. So I've been without my vlogging camera, without my tripod, without like the essence of a vlogging. And then only at the, at then the halfway during this week did I make a commitment to start vlogging twice a week. Um, so that was kind of a way to kind of make up for losing the camera, kind of pick my spirits up a little bit because I was a little bit frustrated, a little bit down about it. Um, so I've been recording on so many different devices, on um, Gregor's uh, GoPro Hero 4, on Rich's Hero 5, on this, the Canon 5D Mark II with a Nikon lens on it, on 
the iPhone 7 Plus, on anything really I could get my hands on. Um, so I don't know how this vlog is going to turn out. I'm going to mash it all together. It's going to be different, different frame rates, different bits of image quality, but I'm still going to try to do my best um, and really kick off this new commitment. You're going to be watching this on a Sunday night. <laughs> I am going to be in Munich um, when this vlog drops. But uh, yeah, I just thought this was a pretty nice place just to take a bit of a moment before we cross the Hungarian border and hit a bit of this. So unfortunately I'm leaving, but the guys have literally this whole place to themselves to celebrate Rich's birthday for the rest of the weekend. Gregor and I are heading over to Munich to kick off festivities over there, but I just can't get over this place. And there's so much old World War II Hungarian military stuff and replica guns. I don't even know what to make of this place. So just before getting the train, we popped into the Burger King in the center of Budapest in Hungary. And they must actually think I am very, very hungry because this is a bucket of fries. Train stations are the dream. Munich. In the train station now, about to board with all of these bags. Oh, this is going to be a rough, rough. 12 hour train. <laughs> 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 I got it all on camera! <laughs>